back with another video now in this video guys i'm going to be giving you my prediction slash preview for the talladega super speedway race for nascar this weekend i'll be taking place on sunday at 1 or 2 p.m i don't really know the time and i'm sorry guys i said last time i was gonna have the stats but i'm going to, i'm going to be going to zagras mall in about like five to ten minutes so uh, I had to get this up very quickly, and I'm just gonna give you my prediction. Like I always do, my three per my three picks, and then the one wild card pick. So based on the last few Talladega runs and the guys that do good at Talladega that I've seen in the past few runs, um, we're gonna it's gonna be a crazy race with this. Um, the oh yeah, it's gonna be crazy because they're not gonna be running a restricted place for the first time it, since like 1987, which is actually gonna be crazy. But they're running like a tapered spacer. Which is basically the same thing, so that's gonna be insane. But of course, you're not gonna get to the speeds that Bill Elliott got to when he ran 212 miles per hour at Talladega. They're probably gonna get, I say, about 205, 206, somewhere around that region. But it's really just gonna be a crazy race. And I actually just say there, um, there could be bump drafting. I remember Brad Keselowski did talk about something like that. That I said there could be, you know, two car tandems returning. I actually love the two car tandems because. It's actually kind of, if you look at the past few finishes at Talladega, it's actually more exciting than the past few finishes at Talladega. Um, I remember the whole three, three, two, two car tandem in like 20, what was it, 2010, 2011, where Jimmy Johnson beat Clint Boyer barely. That was because of two car tandem and it looked exciting. That was the, that was tied for the closest finish in NASCAR history. So, moving on to my predictions. For the Talladega Super Speedway race, my first prediction is going to be an obvious one. It's Talladega. We all know the Fords do well at Talladega. So you know I'm going to have to go with, I hate to say this because I don't like him, but I'm going to have to go with the number two car of Brad Keselowski. My second pick of the Talladega race is going to be the number 18 car of Kyle Busch. My third pick for the 2019 Talladega race for NASCAR is going to have to be Chase Elliott. I always see I always think this guy will do this guy does good at the super speedway races in the past three or four he's run very well. And so I think Chase Elliott is due for a win and Hendrick Morris is due to come back up. Because they've been struggling over the past few races. They've only had like one good race in the past few races. And it's just it's just been tough to see that. Because Andrew Roberts Sports is my favorite team. As you can see on my jacket here. I am a Jeff Gordon fan. So this is, this is technically my team. So it's it's been tough. But that's my three picks. And now for my one wild card pick. And my wild card pick for today's race. I mean, well, today's race, yeah. Sunday's race. It's going to be the number 30. I think it's 34 of David Reagan. If you guys have seen NASCAR's Instagram where they posted this, then you would know that David Reagan is 100 to 1 to win the day, to win the Talladega race. And the last time he did that in 2013 when he was 101 to win the race, he did. So David Reagan is going to be my third and final pick and that's going to be it. But anyway guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please just smash the like button. I don't know if I have videos for you guys tomorrow. I'll be at my dad tomorrow, so I don't know. Um, if anything, I'll probably pre-record videos for tomorrow. But yeah, and with the whole F1 thing going on, I'm not gonna post another third video um, unless you guys show some support on this video really quickly. Then I'll try and get a third video for you guys. But if you guys like this video, please just smash the like button. Thank you guys for you know, like all the support on the on the channel. This channel is absolutely doing very well right now. And we're on the way to getting 200 subscribers for my birthday, which is August 21st. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all later. Peace.